Mr. Burner, man, back with Burner Talks. And it seems like we have another trade in the 2024-25 offseason of the NBA. Before I get to what I mean, to be greatly appreciated if you guys hit that like and subscribe if you're new. But breaking trade, we have the Knicks are going to receive Mikael Bridges and a 2026 second round pick. And the Nets are going to receive Bogdanovich four first round picks, a 2025 first round pick and a 2028 pick swap and a 2025 second round pick. So in the comments, as you guys let me know, who do you think won this trade? I don't know. For me personally, this is kind of like one of those tricky trades because I'm not going to lie. Mikael Bridges is going to fit in great with the New York Knicks, but four Pretty much five first round picks, though. Five first round picks for Mikael Bridges. Is he worth that many first round picks? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Me personally, I do like Mikael Bridges. I love his game. I like his durability. Um, but man, bro, five first round picks is a lot, man, for a guy that some nice is not gonna go get it. I feel like the Knicks, yeah, he he's great defensively, but I feel like what's really holding the Knicks back is they need a couple guys that can go get it. And when I mean go get it, I mean guys that can go out there and get a bucket. When we're when we're down off a of 8-0 run, we need a guy that can get a bucket. Bronson is struggling. Can I pass it to so and so and him go get us a couple buckets, three or four in a row? I feel like that's what the Knicks need. Um, like I said, I know they're building their team around defense. I don't know. Mikael Bridges, you know, he, he did blossom a little bit um, with the Nets. He did. He was playing great before he got traded at the end, back end with the Suns. But I don't know if he's that guy that's going to go out there and get you them buckets, them four or five straight, especially for what they gave up. I, I mean, I feel like for five first-round picks, that's the, the caliber guy that I would be wanting in return. Um, if I did that, you feel me? So I don't know. I mean, the trade, I mean, it's good. I mean, I feel like it's good for the Knicks for the placement, but I just feel like they gave up a lot for him. Uh, if that makes sense, in my opinion, um, the Nets, they did what you're good. They did what they're supposed to do. You know, they already know they're not in no kind of contention. They might as well be on the real, the rebuild mode, which they are. So I have no problems. I feel like this is a W especially for the Nets. Um, like I said, for the Knicks, it'll have to be, you know, time will tell. Um, we have to see what the OG, I f I'm thinking since they just got Mikael Bridges, it's going to be no re-signing of OG in New York. That's what it looks like, right? Um, so, eh, we'll have to see how this, how this pans out again. I want you guys to let me know what you think about this trade? Who won this trade? Do you think the Nets was smart giving up all those picks? Um, Again, don't forget to like up the video, subscribe if you're new, and y'all already know who it is.